Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Paul Jirasi, fencing master with the United States Fencing Coaches Association and the International Academy of Arms at the 2022 Ascalon Sword Festival. We're about to see the gold medal bout for the Division 1A Women's Foil event, featuring on the left, Sophie, uh, Sophia Zhao from the Bluegrass Fencers Club versus Adeline Senek from the Renaissance Fencers Club. And in the booth with me, I have five-time national champion and 16-time world team member, Dr. Joseph Streb. Dr. Streb? Paul? Maestro Paul? We are Good ready to, to begin, you. and our fencing official is about to call these competitors to on guard. Miss Senek on the right, Miss Zhao on the left. Here we go, 15 touches. Miss Zhao with the quick attack off the line. It's parried. Here comes Miss Senek. Both these fencers are very experienced fencers, and they both have very good coaches. The Zhao with the uh, long attack, it hits on the wrist, off target, no touch. Very patient. Yes, very patient. That looked like a tech from the right. And that's how our official sees it, and it's one point for Senek. Senek misses, actually missed on the remise, and gets hit with a counterattack. The Senek has a very powerful and long attack, which we saw there, but she just didn't hit with it. I think that time it worked against her. She actually lunged a little too far as Zhao came forward and closed out the distance. It can these days. But there's that attack, and it lands. Senek scores as She shows touch. that low line and then goes right back with the high line with a straight attack. Very good adjustment. Beat attack short. Here comes uh, Miss Zhao. Let's see what she can do. Miss Senek using the point in line defensively, picking up the blade, getting the or post action. There's that point in line. Counterattack. Yeah, preparation by Senek allowed that counterattack to a uh, window of opportunity. And the Senate coming forward rapidly and finishing Ooh. that high line attack, which is what she wanted to do last time, but yep. she didn't quite get the footwork right. There's that short saber like footwork coming forward, looking for the counterattacks and the, getting the blade control, finishing with the beat attack. I think uh, Sophie Zhao just took a, an extra step too far forward got into Senek's range and suffers a touch. That's what Miss Senek really wants to do, is <laughs> really unleash that, that long direct attack. But Sophie Zhao is asking for a video review on this one. I look like a clear attack to me from I Senek. I can see the video, and uh, maybe it looks to me like that touch will be upheld. Or maybe, maybe they're asking for something else. Nope, the call stands. It, maybe that's something where Sophie Zhao just needed a break or something. Similar action to the last one, called the same way, and it was a correct call. Ms. Zhao stepping forward and lowering her point almost to the strip, allowing Ms. Senek to take advantage of that with those long, powerful straight attacks and a high line. Repost fails. And there's the line. Let's see what our fencing official does with this. No, he says the he attack says lands off target. off target. Well, look out. Whoa. There's a piece of blade or something flying around That's here. That's the mask cord. mask cord. That time, Ms. Zhao attempted a straight attack in preparation, trying to catch uh, Miss Senek in preparation. Okay. 
Who controlled the blade contact? That's hard a good to question. say. Looks like Senate had a lot of power. I think got on top of the blade there, so I think it will be hers. I think so too. But let's go to the radio replay and let's see what they say. Oh, interesting. All right, it's not so much who has the most power on the blade. It's really almost geometry. Who has it on the strong part versus the weak part of the blade? Mm -hmm. And Sophie Zhao gets the uh, the point on this one. Four fencing seven. Both fencers come forward with a preparation and an off-target light for Ms. Senek. Ms. Zhao with the big preparations to avoid having her blade picked up. Both fencers using some tempo in their feet now. Zhao Here coming forward Ms. on the march. She's keeping her blade back, and then she has to finish, but because she's got it back so far, it makes it a little difficult for her to get the distance that she needs, tries a point in line action. And she makes the attack, but back. a dodging move makes the attack go off target. Showing the high line, finishing in the low line with that uh, long finish that she has. Counter repost is off target from the Senek. The Senek looking to finish, gets countered. Yeah. Zhao just sort of stepped into that one, slipped the blade with the counter, scores her fifth touch. Let's see if Miss Senek comes forward with a long attack. She does. That could be called two actions, but it's not. In Sabre, they probably would have said that was two attacks instead of one. Yeah, that's true. Here's a... Well, she... Attack her eyes. She had a line, and then she removed the line, and I think the, the attack went to Senek after that. Back to the four-touch lead. When Ms. Zhao gets close here, and gets within one or two touches, Ms. Senek. Not sure on that one. The, the referee's going to consult the video. The attack. I think that will be Ms. Senek's touch. Yes, uh, from where I'm, I can see the video somewhat, and it definitely looked like that, but that's not how our fencing official saw it. The referee thought it was too tight to call. He called no time. Looked like a beat attack from the left. And it was. It is. Ms. Zhao's point, six fencing, nine. Mm. And there's an attack from Let's the left. Let's see, it looks like uh, the Senek got off the attack first but got hit with a direct counter. Ms. Senek's tendency in this situation is to go forward very hard. Might not be the best thing. She's using controlled steps at this point. The Senate can therefore probably be a little bit better controlled when she does finish. Nine seconds left. She's looking for it. Oh. And time has expired. Well, time has expired. Ms. Zaz doing a good job of uh, keeping it close. She gets behind, then she finds a way to catch back up. Wow, I mean, that's this is amazing. That, I mean, I, I was about to say, you know, what can what can Sophie Zhao do to get back into this? But it seems like she's found a couple things. She's got some tools. She has, uh, she has found a way. Can she maintain it? That's yeah. the thing. Now, it looks like Cynic likes to come forth with that big explosive uh, advanced lunge, that patinando uh, to the target. Uh, is that something she can still use in the second period, or you think Ms. Zhao has figured it out? She could still use it, but uh, probably the higher probability action, sorry to use it twice, but <laughs> the higher probability action would be for Ms. Senek to use controlled steps coming forward. Try not to give up an attack in a preparation or, or a counterattack on something big that she doesn't necessarily need at this point. She's still ahead by one touch. She can be defensive if she wants to. Maybe step forward, show up that big, big uh, high line attack, and then and then kind of hesitate, look for the blade to come out, pick it up, and then get the repost. Right, and we see when Zhao comes forward, uh, she's really almost very fearful of getting that blade uh, beat 
it looks like uh, Senex Beat is very powerful. Anything she could do to avoid that? Well, I think she's actually made an adjustment of not keeping her blade back so far, getting it out a little more, and it's helped her to get to where she is now. I agree. All right, we're going to go back to the action here. This is the start of the second period. Miss hmm. Mar or Miss Senek. I said Marsh because she looks like her mom, <laughs> former, former Olympic foil fencer for the U.S. And uh, she she hits it. She's definitely a head off the line. Some big motions by Senek scores the touch, but Mrs. Zhao has asked for a replay on that one. And Ms. Senek's trying to pick up the blade here, and and she feels that she did. And uh, and and our referee sees that she did, so she gets the touch. And that's a power repost, but a Cora Cora stops the action. The Senate getting that blade control again. Tries to finish under. Doesn't get it. But There's a low line repost that's off target. Yeah, avoids that repost. You're right, though. Senna coming forward with small measured steps. Ms. Zhao asking for a wrench to tighten her blade. Maybe it's a good time for her to think about her next move. I mean, Ms. Senna has a three-touch lead. She doesn't necessarily have to come forward with those big, long attacks, but that's what she likes to do. So we'll see if she, if she goes back to the well again. She hasn't done it for a while, though. She hasn't really done that. Uh, uh, so she could actually use it as a surprise every now and then and perhaps catch her opponent unaware. All right, let's go back to the action. I would call that touch right, but I don't know what our fencing official will do. She's going to check the video. See how it looks there. That was pretty close. Uh, I'd need a better angle. Mm -hmm. Joe, you've got a little bit of a view on the replay over there. What do you see? Well, it looks like the video failed to record. And where that happens, typically uh, the call that was made by the fencing official will stand and it was uh, it was a doubtful. And a reversal. Interesting. Yeah, a reversal. The attack goes to Sophie Zhao, and she'll score a point. It's nine fencing 11. And I think the referee is explaining the call to Ms. Senek. Well, that was an interesting call. Not working. Video might not be working. Apparently, it's fixed. Santa comes forward. Long lunge, but it's off target. She didn't seem to have much mustard on that one. Miss Marsh, or Miss Senek, excuse me, going back to the well there with the long straight attack, gets parried, the post off target. And there she does it again. She's probably doing it a little much at this point. And the remise of the repost scores another touch for Sophie Zhao. And Zhao hasn't really hit much coming forward. So I think Senek's doing the right thing here, being defensive. Oh, and there's a repost from Senek. In, uh, yeah, Miss Zhao wanted to challenge that. What, what she thought there was that the parry was low, low on the fort, and therefore was really her parry. But Miss Zhao, I believe, is, is she out of challenges? She's out of videos. Yeah. So she couldn't challenge it. I don't think she would have won it anyway. Here we go. Senate 12 10. 
and the repost is non-valid. Zenek with that long attack. I don't know. I think Zell may have had. what we've seen before. I and think Zell may have been first. Yeah, our referees called that different. Generally, he gives it to her, but sometimes he doesn't. I think Zell started the arm first, but I'm not sure. And it is Sophie Zell's attack. Sort of a, a saber type call. Yeah. And. Yeah, uh, uh, the question, I can see the video replay, and, you know, Masao did get the point out earlier oh. than usual. There's a pair of posts the post by Miss Senek. Maintains that uh, two-touch lead, 15-touch bout. Dangerous. Miss Senek. Being defensive now. Feel she made the parry on that. I feel she made the parry on that. I but think what we're having here a lot of in uh, foil these days is uh, blade contact while offensive is moving forward while often be called a beat attack. Senek did not, can't uh, parry did not opt for the replay on that. There's the long attack. Similar, uh, similar action to what we've seen. And that's uh, an equalizer to touch. That's 13-13. On, on that one, Ms. Zhao might have been short with her attacking the preparation, allowing that continuation to arrive. There's Zhao with her first long attack. Maybe not the first, but one of the few long attacks she's done, and it works. And I think that's uh, one of the only times she's actually hit a Senek on her side of the strip. Well, Senek behind now, maybe for the first time. There's that yeah. long straight attack. That one looks like Senek to me, but... The referee is going to check the video just to make sure. When it comes down to the final bout, sometimes it's just milliseconds that we, we see in the actions, and we need a slower view. And the, one of the benefits of replay is they can slow down the action. That can sometimes work against you. There are fencing coaches that say that it's not the same action slowed down <laughs> as it is in real time, and really it's not fair to slow it way down. To That's true. 30% of the And the touch goes speed. to Senek. It's 14-14, La Belle, the beautiful touch. The next point will win the gold medal for the Division 1A Women's Foil competition here at the Ascalon Sword Festival. Well, let's see if Miss Senek goes back to the well and tries that long, powerful, high-line finish uh, on this final touch. Well, she's tying her shoe, maybe giving her a moment to think about what to do on this all-important last touch. At 14-14, both fencers know everything about Everything that we're going to know about their opponent, they can learn nothing new. They have to do their best action here. Well, we'll see. I, I think the higher probability thing would be for Miss Senek to faint like she's going to do that and try to pick up uh, an attack in preparation with the pair of post. Here we go. Long attack. Oh, repost is off target for Zhao. Now, Miss Senek got the blade control she was looking for, but just a little short with the finish and gets parried. Zhao tried to surprise Miss Senek that time, but it didn't work. Senek at the attack, but it's off target. Just missed the target. Is out trying some point in line. Ooh. Now, does she have the distance to get it? Hard to say. She's using it more defensively. She's getting back to the Senek end of the strip. For blade control, and then she'll finish off one of these when she thinks she has the right control and the right distance. There it is, but it's short, it's parried. Here comes Miss Zhao. She's likely to do that long finish under the arm again. She'll try to probably push as far as she can, and then there it is, but oh, it ends up misses. short. Miss Senek knows that's where she wants to go. It looked like she was aiming for that outside lower line. Attack, counterattack is off target. 26 seconds left in the period. Out. 
false start. Defensor's getting a little anxious. Typical in this situation. Yeah. The Senate coming forward, looking uh, to fake the long attack, pick up the blade. There's that long and attack. And there's the attack. Off, off a retreat. She gets it going forward. And Adeline Senek from Renaissance Fencing Club wins the gold medal in the Division 1A Women's Foil Competition.